Okay, uh, so this week uh, we will talk another um, very important aspect of data visualization. So that is uh, using colors. So we will introduce color theories um, this week. And we also will uh, go through um, a project that using uh, Halloween data. So that hopefully um, can give us some ideas that can how we can do some great uh, data visualizations. So the use of colors in data visualization is very important. And in most cases, uh, not in most cases, in many cases that you might be misusing the data. So let's look uh, two examples. So this is an example that, um, that the use of color here. So it's very simple, um, just two colors, blue and also gray. And the blue is used to highlight the data. OK, so in this case is the case that below the minimal wage. And we can see it's very clear. Um, and this is another example that using color. So here we can see that on those two uh, charts, on those two dashboards, so they're uh, talking about the exactly the same data, but by using different colors. And that can send you totally different messages. So that is another uh, uh, important aspect of using color because people perceive colors um, very subjective. So when people see red, people have different feelings than people see the blue. OK, uh, so we can use uh, we can use colors to highlight our data. We can also use colors uh, to send different messages uh, uh, from our data visualizations. So there are different types of colors. Uh, so here we have the color that is from the nature, the world, and the color is uh, on nature. So those are uh, colors that um, um, can be used like highlighting or to draw attention from from the users. And the colors like let that like from the nature world can be used for categorical uh, visualizations so that to distinguish different categories. Uh, we also have colors that are called the cool color, so like uh, blue, green, etc. And also we can also have the warm colors like yellow, red. Okay, so those are can be also used for warning and those can be used for highlight. Okay. Uh, so let's look at the physical properties of the colors. So why do human beings can see the colors? So the, the reason is because uh, the sun send out energy to the object. OK, send out the light, which is the type of energy. And part of energies will go through the object. Part will be uh, absorbed by the, by the object that will convert into heat and the part of the energies will be reflected um, by our human so that will be seen also be uh, by our human eyes and the light has different wavelength range okay and we know that the light has a, a very long wavelength range uh, from gamma x-rays into the, uh, the 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 band that is the visible part and also into the near infrared, okay, and also reduce etc. FM, PM. Uh, so our human eyes can only see this tiny part of the wavelength of the light, the range of wavelengths of the light. And if the object that reflect uh, the visible part of the wavelength equally and all together, so have high reflections of all the wavelengths. So that is what we saw that as white. OK, we can see a white object. And if the object, if the target reflect most of the energies in this red band, and that's why we saw it red. Uh, if that is in yellow, that's why we saw it yellow. And also that same reason that why we see a blue object, a green object, uh, if that has, if the object has um, a low reflections in all those visible 
range of the wavelengths, and that is where we see a black object. And we have two types of the color theories. Okay, so we have these additive color theories where the red, green, blue are those primary colors, and combining of the two primary colors will produce the other three types of the colors. And a combination of all three colors will produce white. Okay, all three together will produce white. And this color theory has been used like all those uh, electronic screens, like our computer monitors, uh, television screens, mobile fields, etc. So those are all the result of this additive primary of those immediate light. And we also have this subtractive color theory. So magenta, cyan, and also yellow are those three primary colors. And the combining of all two will produce those three types of colors. And all three together will generate this black color. OK? And this type of color theories has been used by printings. OK? So, uh, it is based on that subtracting the energy being absorbed by the ink and reflecting remaining energy. Okay, so that is uh, subtractive color theories. And that is why that we, when you buy the ink uh, for the printers, uh, so that's why why we you can always buy those three type colors and sometimes plus black. Okay, that is because printers are, based, are using this uh, subtractive uh, subtractive color theories. Okay, and the component of the colors. So normally when we talk about colors, so there are three features of the colors. Hue is just a type of the colors. So normally that we uh, we will see that there are 12 type of the colors like red, orange, yellow, purple, etc. Saturation stands for the intensity or the vividness of the colors. So that is that we're comparing the, the pure color against a natural gray. OK, so this is called saturation. Uh, we also talk about another feature is called value. So that is the quality of the likeness or the darkness of the colors. OK, so that is called values. And we also have this color wheel so that we put different hue of the colors on this wheel. And the color wheel on this wheel that the color that opposite to each other, okay, has the most, the strongest uh, comparisons. Okay, so they contradict each other the most. So for example, red, green, contract the green, blue, orange, okay, and here I also want to uh, highlight that try to avoid using red and green combination. Okay, uh, because some people that cannot tell the difference of those two colors. So instead, orange and blue combination is a is a good alternative. Okay, so try to avoid using red, green, and but instead using orange and blue. OK, and also, as I said, colors, people have very subjective feelings of the colors. Uh, so here we I just listed different type of the colors, so different hues. So ask yourself, so what is your reaction when you see those different type colors? Like um, based on some research, so those are the different reactions. Uh, for the colors, for example, for people when see yellow, so it's kind of the warning, hate, uh, cheerfulness. So sometimes it's um, uh, they have the opposite feelings. Uh, for example, the the red, life, blood, power, danger. Okay, and blue, coldness, uh, silence, depression. However, truth, depth. Etc. Uh, for green, okay, spring, nature, envy, greed, okay, and purple, so like dignity, 
royal richness, painful. And also white, uh, so that like the thickness, purity, face, uh, cleanness. And for the gray, so people may feel like quiet, controlled motions. Okay. And gray is also a color that personally I like it a lot because gray, gray is a safe color that you can use gray to combine with the other type of colors. And for the black, so like the heaviness, strength, etc. And uh, in addition to a single color, the color combinations are also can be very uh, subjective. However, some researchers did tell us that most people they they like some type of combination of colors, and many people will also hate the specific combination of the colors. So here I, I also have those combination of those different type colors. So ask yourself uh, which one you like the most and which one you you hate the most. I think most of us we are not like this color combination that is right on green. Okay. Uh, so here are two studies that uh, are talking about the color combinations. And you can see both studies uh, say that the best color combination is yellow and black. Okay, yellow and black. Okay. And both studies said that red and green red and green are the worst color combinations. So those are something that you may want to try to avoid. Okay. And there are also different use um, for the use of the data visualizations. So those are different uh, schemas. So we have the sequential. Uh, we have diverging categorical color. We can also highlight or alert the color. Uh, so sequential is that we are using a single hue, but we are changing the values or the saturation of the colors, and this is for the quantitative data, so like numbers. Diverging is also used to, to visualize quantitative data. However, we are using the two color types, so two hues, and we are changing the values of the saturations so that we want to highlight the specific range of the colors. So in most cases, we want to highlight the minimal or the maximal colors. Categorical schema is using different type of the hues. OK, and we should try to avoid using those pure colors in this case um, for, to, to distinguish those categorical data. So like the strings. OK, so uh, for the different type of the colors. And we can also use a cold color or the warm color to highlight or to alert specific uh, data point. So this is an example that using sequential color so that we can see here we are using one type of color, but we are changing the darkness or the situation of the color to show the unemployment rate by each state. OK. And this is a diverging color so that we are showing the uh, profit by using the orange and also blue combination. Um, and here you can see which county or which state has the highest profit and which state has the lowest uh, profit. OK, so this uh, is an example of use categorical data, categorical colors. OK, so like different um, different type of the furnitures of the office supplies and also technologies okay and here this is an example of using the highlight color okay so that uh, we're used to highlight one data point for the category and this is the slope graph uh, where we want to highlight uh, this specific trend that has increased the most and this is also another example of using the alerting color. OK, so that here we're using those warm colors, OK, to indicate that some abnormal uh, situations. 